What's going on folks, it's Mike here, and in today's lesson, I'm gonna be going through some of the WX widget samples to show you how to get them running and compiling on your machine. Now, the purpose of this is to show you that, well, WX widgets is a really well-documented library, and we can benefit from the age of the library and how well it's documented by looking at some of the samples that are provided. And the samples tend to be single file projects, so they're easy to compile in a sense, and then we can learn from them for what we need to do. So let's go ahead and dive in. So just looking at the WX widgets documentation, if you go ahead and click on the classes section, you'll find that there's all sorts of different controls and things that you might want to work with. And often I found, for instance, as a beginner with any sort of library, it's hard to just click on something and look at the API documentation and you know sort of guess what's going on. So again, we have samples available for us. So what I've gone ahead and done on the left side here is I have a build of WX here. That means I've compiled the libraries, I have my WX config tool, and I can proceed to build the hello world example. If you're not able to build the hello world example, please look at some of the other videos in this playlist so you can build WX for your operating system. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. And what I'm gonna do is navigate back and find the samples directory that's part of WX. So if I look through here, uh, it's alphabetically sorted. So here's samples. That's where I'm gonna to wanna to CD into. And I'll find all sorts of examples here. So let's go ahead and try to build one of these referencing our WX config tool, which knows where all the libraries and include files are for WX that we've just built. And I'm gonna just pick one sort of at random here that might be interesting, like say a tree list and see if we can run that demo. So I'll cd into tree list, and here's the files. And you'll see we do have associated make files that we could uh, run here. But since this is a simple project, what I really wanna show you is just how to build this from command line. Because likely you'll want to use parts of this sample to learn from or perhaps build your own project. So let's see if we can just get this C++ file building without worrying about any project files for other editors. So I'm gonna use G++, we're compiling the tree list CPP program. Uh, I like to use the C17 at this point in time. And let's output the program. And as we know, this isn't going to work because we need to tell the compiler where the WX include path is as well as the libraries. So let's just modify this a little bit. And we need to reference our actual WX config tool. So wherever that might be here. Uh, let's see. So mine, I believe, is in Linux build and wx config here. So let me get that on one line here just so you can see everything. And then this is where I can provide libs and the CXX flags here. And again, I'll just get this all in one line so you can see everything that I'm passing through here. So let's go ahead and give this a try. If I hit enter, it's going to take a few moments, but it should compile. And then if I run this program, we'll see that we have a working WX tree list control. And we can actually explore it, which is pretty cool, uh, and see some of the samples here. So I think that's pretty cool that that just sort of works out of the box. So let's try another sample here. So I'm gonna just CD back here, and let's try to find one that's kind of interesting. How about d and d Is that Dungeons and Dragons or Drag and Drop? Well, we'll have to go ahead and see. <laughs> we can run it here. And I'm going to go ahead and run pretty much the same compilation uh, command as I did before, except we're compiling DND this time. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I'll just take a moment to build. I'll run the program. And in my other window here, I've got something where I can drag and drop text into. So let's go ahead and see if that works here. And indeed it does. So that's pretty cool. And you can imagine how building something to do this might be a little bit difficult, but it's nice to know we have a sample and this works as we would expect here. Okay, let's look at some of the other ones here. I'm gonna go ahead and back here and I'm gonna go ahead and look at the AUI. And this is a advanced user interface for WX widgets. So just to give you a little bit of background on that, WX widgets, AUI. If you go to the wiki page here, you can see that this is sort of a cutting edge component here for WX. Gives us a nice feel, we can dock widgets, we can do all sorts of cool things with it. So let's go ahead and just see if we can get it built and then you can spend some time with the code 
or perhaps in a future video, I can talk more about the demo here. So let's go ahead and try to build this uh, just like we previously did. AUI demo. I just see the one C++ file here. I'm going to hit enter. And let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. This time I got a whole bunch of compilation errors. Um, hmm. Well, what happened here exactly? Um, I, I thought we were including all the libraries. Well, let's be a little bit careful here. Again, with the command that we're compiling with here, with wxconfig, let's go ahead and look at what's available here. Um, so if I go ahead and just paste this in and take a look at the documentation here, we do want to go ahead and read this bottom part talking about some of the available libraries here. And one of them is the AUI. Now, because this is a very specific or part of the sort of advanced user interface here, uh, I'll go ahead to the documentation again just so you can see here, we do have to make sure that we include specifically AUI here. So let me go ahead and um, show you how to do this and clear the screen here. And for our libs, uh, we can specify uh, AUI here, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and see if that does the trick here. Um, almost, so we almost have everything. Um, another way that we could actually do this is to say, well, <laughs> I don't know which library we're missing here. It looks like maybe the some WX control here. Uh, well, it's important or worth noting, I'm gonna bring in the WX uh, config here so that we can see it. And how do we specify the libraries? Well, I might have only brought in AUI when I did that. So I want to actually bring in all the libraries and make sure to explicitly include uh, AUI here, which is one of the non-standard libraries here. So I could either bring in all the standard ones and AUI or just link in everything. Let's try this and go ahead and see if this works, because this is for uh, WX 3.0 and beyond. So let me leave this uh, so you can see it on one line the standard libraries and AUI, and our CXX flags here. So let's see if that does the trick here. And it does. OK, so let me go ahead and make this a full screen here. Then you can see everything nicely on one line. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's actually run the program here and see this advanced user interface. And I think this might be a sell for you to use WX widgets to do some cool things. So I've got these different windows, these different tabs. I can dock things to different uh, pieces of the user interface here. Let's see if I can put it on the corner here or on the top or to the side. So I think that's pretty cool and really shows off some of the power of WX widgets here. Uh, and some of these options uh, that we have different themes, um, we can change the label widths and so on. Um, so this is one of the cooler examples I just wanted to show you, the ability to sort of dock the widgets uh, in different places and move them around here. Um, let's see if I can actually move it to the side here. Anyway, you get the idea there. And that's the advanced user interface. So just to review what we've done here is we are now able to build some of the sample WX widgets projects so that we can learn from them. And maybe if you're still in the exploration stage, figure out if this is the right toolkit for you. So go ahead and take some time to look through these samples and figure out if WX is right for you. And we also learned how to properly use the WX config tool. And that is that we might have additional libraries that we need to specify. And that's what we did here, where we brought in all the standard libraries and then specifically the AUI. All right, so folks, I hope that was helpful for you. I hope that gets you a head start in WX widgets. If you've been enjoying this channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one where we'll dive into some more WX and GUI programming.